Hello students, welcome to the class of digital communication lab. In the last lab, we have seen the eye diagram experiment. And uh, in this lab, we will going to see the Imona uh, BPSK, which is a binary phase shift keying using this Imona Telecom Trainer 101 hardware kit. So in BPSK, let's go to the block diagram first. There is a phase shift keying. This is the experiment which are, we are going to perform. And this is data stream. It is uh, basically 1010 uh, and data binary data. And this is the BPSK signal. As you can see, there is a phase shift that uh, there is a binary. In, when you are talking about the BPSK, we are utilizing the minus one and one uh, when uh, uh, it is shift keying. So if uh, you are representing zero, then uh, that is the minus one eighty degree phase shift and uh, when you are representing uh, 1 it is 0 degree phase shift so when there is a 1 to 0 there is one, 180 degree phase shift is occurring and uh, then there is also from 0 to 1 then there is phase shift you can see at the edge of this at this edge there is 180 degree phase shift change and at this edge 180 degree phase shift change and uh, similarly at this this and this point so this is the bpsk modulated signal so which i have to generate from uh, hardware kit so for the block diagram you can see there is master signal from which you have to give the 8 kilohertz uh, clock which is by using this clock the sequence generator uh, it is generated the NRZ L coding. NRZ means uh, non return to zero and line code. So uh, this is sequence generator. I have already uh, explained you master signal sequence generator about the Imona kit. So if this is going to uh, multiply. We are modulating the signal by this is the carrier 100 kilohertz co cosine signal here we are using. This is not written here. So and the output of this is BPSK signal modulated and we uh, for the reference we can see our digital data uh, at the channel 1 and uh, at the channel 2 BPSK signal we can see so at the Imona kit I can, as you can see this is 8 kilohertz digital signal which I have taken for the clock of sequence generator there is a switch of clock I have explained already about the switch that uh, when you are doing 0 0 this is an RZ L which is non return to 0 line code 0 in is by Wi-Fi bi and 1 0 is RZ and 1 1 is an RZ M so for this uh, experiment we have to keep it at 0 0 at the upper side it is uh, 0 at the lower side it is 1 so I have taken the 8 kilohertz digital signal as a clock frequency for the sequence generator. I have taken 100 kilohertz uh, cosine signal for the carrier. So the binary signal which is uh, generated from the sequence generator has been given to this multiplier at the X. This is multiplier simply it is a modulator. We are, uh, uh, if you know the theory of uh, the BPSK, you can easily understand this process. So multiplier basically multiplies to a signal and gives, gives its output. So I have given the uh, carrier frequency at the YDC and uh, this is sequence generator binary signal at the XDC and the mo modulator output directly given to the CRO. So you can see at the CRO, this is the output. This is the uh, binary sig signal which is generated by NRZL line code and this is the BPSK signal once again press auto set for just a convenience that you can see yeah so this is the basically signal as you i have seen already from the manual that uh, how the bpsk signal <coughs> looks like so here is is first edge second edge and third edge so you can see the I can zoom for you. Yeah. Now you can see the change. Phase shift. 
at this is when the signal is going from 0 to 1 the phase shift occurring from uh, 0 to 180 degree and uh, at the second edge that is here also when the signal is from uh, I can show in zoom you can just rotate this to adjust the horizontal line Yeah. Now you can see at the second edge also there is a phase shift changing from 0 to 180 degree. So this is basically the BPSK modulated signal. In the second part of this experiment we are going to see the demodulation of this BPSK signal. So for the demodulation first uh, come to the block so diagram. So for the demodulation as you can see the block diagram this is basically the modulated signal and this is the product de product detection so here you are multiplying the carrier signal again or you can local oscillator historical in local carrier so uh, to maintain the phase and frequency uh, uh, same this same carrier frequency has been given to for the multiplier second multiplier so from here this is uh, product detection technique and after product detection there is the signal is passed through the uh, tunable low pass filter and then demodulated bpsk signal can be obtained but it is uh, when we are demodulating by this way uh, the modulated uh, demodulated signal is something uh, distorted because uh, when we are giving the binary signal as input so we need a binary signal as a output if there is a any uh, internal noise or thermal noise then uh, the output will be distorted so let's see first this was the modulated signal and from uh, the modulated signal I have given uh, the output of the modulated signal to the input of this second multiplier for the product detector and the same carrier which is uh, given to the line code this uh, 100 kilohertz carrier given to the YDC which is at the second input of the multiplier and after that the multiplier output has been taken in at the tunable low, low pass filter input signal then output has been taken to the CRO and you can see how it looks like so this is basically our original signal which is the binary data and this is our output signal and I, I, I already I have said that this will be distorted because uh, there may be any uh, um, noise present in the si system and there is a certainly noise present in the system that's why it is distorted so to remove uh, just uh, I have shown this by uh, some for the just uh, uh, com for considering that uh, how it affect how noise affect to the system so to remove this distortion we have to use a comparator like threshold detector so for the work of threshold detector is to compare the uh, input signal and output signal if the input signal is greater than uh, some uh, threshold then it is uh, generating one and if the less than some signal this then this is generating zero so for the comparator circuit we have to pass first this output of the second detector multiplier to the comparator and this is the comparator and after that uh, we have to pass through it after passing uh, through the low pass filter we have to pass through it comparator so let's see so now I have passed the multiplier output to a low pass filter then output of this low pass filter has gone to the comparator input and the comparator the second input of the comparator has been taken from the VCC the threshold voltage I have just taken half for comparison and you can change the threshold voltage by this tunable filter or tunable switch so the output of the comparator now goes to the input of the uh, CRO that's why here there is mm, this is the input which uh, I have given and this is the output as you can see the correct output has been obtained 
and i have tuned this for uh, a time you can also tune the uh, cut off frequency of the uh, tunable low pass filter to adjust the output as well as the this uh, vcc you can tune the vcc for correct output so this is actually basically the experiment in which you are to in tuning for uh, to get the correct output of uh, from the input so once again i am going to explain all the things first in first part the generation of bpsk i have given the master signal at kilohertz to the clock of uh, sequence generator then after sequence generator there is a binary uh, an rz l coding has been generated and that uh, has been given to a multiplier for the uh, product modulator in which i have given the carrier 100 kilohertz from the master signal then after uh, multiplying the 100 kilohertz carrier to the input of uh, a sequence generator it has been uh, produced the bpsk signal which i have shown already and uh, for the reference just i have taken at the second channel the input which i have given nrz line code in the first part the bpsk signal has been generated and has been shown in the second part i have given uh, two part in which i have first uh, demonstrated the first one which is uh, digital signal uh, this is the modulated signal i have explained and this is the product detection in which the same carrier frequency has, the same carrier signal has been given because uh, the frequency and uh, phase should be synchronized for the correct reconstruction of the signal and the output of the uh, product modulator has been given to the second multiplier which is the product detection detector after the product detector the output has been given to the tunable low pass filter and after that the uh, what is the output has been shown on the CRO and I have already explained why the noise has been coming in the CRO. Then to remove the noise, we are uh, restoring the signal from a comparator. In which uh, this uh, already explained, this is already explained. After the low pass filter, I have uh, passed the signal to the comparator in which uh, I have uh, set uh, some voltage, threshold voltage. If uh, the our signal is greater than threshold that threshold voltage then that will produce a one otherwise if uh, less than that threshold voltage then that will be produced a zero and by using this way we have produced our original signal as you can see on the CR. so this is basically was the bps experiment and uh, this is the easiest experiment i think so already you know about the bpsk so thank you